on Long Island. Oh, you know it's so much fun. I'm living on the island. I'm just basking in the sun. Hey, Edney, give me a vodka. Is that your Camaro? It's gorgeous. You know, I went to high school with Billy Joel. Wow. I go to Hampton's on Friday night. I party hardy in the sunshine bright. Then I'm sitting in traffic on Sunday night. I'm living on an island. Yeah, living on Long Island. I get no it's so much fun. I'm living on the island. I'm not hurting anyone. Ah, uh, let's Hey there, Islanders, if you're going out to the beach, you better get an early start. Traffic is miserable. Well, I'm coming of age, you know, Ben Cage, trying to get down in Levertown, dancing in the dark in Floral Park. I think I'll stay in Oi, to make us I'm living on an island. Ciao, a happy Tuesday, better Tuesday, everybody. I'm full of my mustaches are coming off of here. <laughs> Welcome to the Gagutsu Show. We got a nice, uh, delicious show for you tonight. Tonight we got a eight-time uh, recipient of uh, the Golden Dong Award, the John Holmes of the Asian porn, <laughs> Scott of the Rock, and then we also got... Uh, <laughs> we got the legendary stand-up comedian, Jack Simmons, who make a, a song for us. <laughs> Living on the island. And now, with a further ado, here's the two women have a better mustache than me. <laughs> Nicole Lamarago and Ajini Powers. Yay! Thank you, Alfredo. That was great. That was amazing. Maybe you have a mustache because you're Italian, but I, I don't have a mustache. I definitely don't have one as of this morning. <laughs> I shaved mine. You shaved? I, I don't did. have one. I, I don't gave have it a one. nice... <laughs> <laughs> right in the mirror. Good to go. Baby smooth. Now. I always get nervous that I'm going to get one because my mom has one. She has a mustache. Yeah, she's Filip you know, full breed Filipino. And sometimes I see a little chin hairs on her. Oh, so no. I get nervous that I might get one. Scary. This is the things that we have to look forward to is getting older. It's like, oh, yay, hair What about places. men when they get ear hair, nose hair? I see them in older men, ear hair. Oh, Yuck. There was an old man, I swear. He literally had a beard mustache that grew into his <laughs> ear hair. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm like, what is that? That's disgusting. Why? Why? But anyway, so you and I are in our improv class. You did amazing last night. So did you. We had so much fun. No, I don't like improv. No, see, Jeannie and I are in this improv class, and it, it, it's tricky because, you know, you got to go off the cuff of things sometimes. And it's, I waited to, the, I wanted to be the last person yeah, to you, go. you didn't want, you were like, no, no. No, I'm not even this. doing this. I don't, I like getting a script and reading and, reading. and just tell me what to do. I'm not, you know, I say I don't like improv, but I'm on the radio, and I have to improvise Constantly. I guess it's different though because you know what you're going into. They put yeah. you in a situation that you don't know. She was so funny. She's out there pretending to hula hoop. Yeah. She's down on her knees. Thanks. Well, she was very adorable. I was adorable. I, why was I down on my knees anyway? <laughs> How'd I get there? I think somebody was coming to kill you. Hot hitman. Oh, you were down on your knees because you were begging. I told you to get down on your knees and beg for forgiveness. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Because you wrote that I was a bitch on the wall yes. of the bathroom. Jeannie played my, my aunt, also my principal at school, and I wrote that she was a bitch on the bathroom wall. And, Which um, I think really happened in high school. It could have. It definitely well might have. I think it's happened at the bathrooms at my job. <laughs> as long as your <laughs> phone number is not attached to it, you should yeah. be okay. Call Jeannie for a good time. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to start... For people who piss me off in life, I'm going to write, call Jeannie for a good time. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> that would be awesome. They'll call you because I hate them and you'll just ream them out. Oh, go, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that I can do. <laughs> that I can definitely do. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wouldn't Betty just call me before? Oh, the Asian Barbie. Barbie bitch. bitch Barbie. Asian bitch Barbie. He wants to make an Asian bitch Barbie. I think you'd be good for that. Asian bitch Barbie? Yeah. An actual character? Now, we're supposed to, in our class, we're supposed to think of characters, we, we, a character that we would want to play, and then a character that we think that we could actually play. Did you think about that at yeah, all? Yeah, who we can excel at, um, but not necessarily play. Right. And I was trying to think about it all night while I had a migraine and didn't get much sleep last night. And I was thinking, you know, obviously sarcastic, quick-witted person would be me. Right. I mean, those are the types of characters I play besides always being typecast as the Asian. Right. Um, but I was thinking maybe the mean boss. 
but that's who I play every day in my life. Right, but that's what would be relatable to you. That's, right. That's what he was saying, that, is that if you could get, you, like, an ideal character of what you want to push yourself to be, what your limits would be, versus what you actually are. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, I think you would be, that's why I went to principal with you. Like, you just, you got that demeanor about you where, like, you, you got that tough, that toughie, yeah. you toughie. I asked my daughter and right away. Even the way you answered the phone before, hello. I was like, <laughs> my number I know is in your phone. You know who's calling you right now. There is no reason for you to be that nasty while you're saying hello to me. Hello. I'm like, hi. Did I answer that one? You're like, yeah, you're like, hello. Just very serious. I was like. <laughs> Why am I calling her now? I don't know. Hi. <laughs> it's like okay. Yeah, I mean, I I guess you just sound like very it, like. It, what it, do you want? <laughs> being very serious and um, studious at the same time. Yeah. And aggressive comes very easy to me. Yeah. That's so like immediately guess. what I went to when I said principal. Yeah, I was like, like, where is she going, principal? Why would she do that? I like to be funny. I don't want to be dramatic. But when I was doing that play and I had to be, you know, my opening scene, I was very funny in that. And then when I had to be dramatic, it was very difficult for me yeah. to be dramatic and have to be sad and make people cry. To go from being funny to making people cry right. was hard for me. I didn't like it at all to have to break me down. Didn't but it like took it. you out of your comfort zone, which yeah. is pretty cool. And I did it, and people yeah, cried. Yeah, you did a great job. They cried, and I was like, why are you crying? Stop it's crying. All, I'm, I'm alive. It's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Did you ever see the movie 17 again with Zac Efron and yes. Matthew Perry? Yes. The principal in that movie would be you. <laughs> she was very stern, but she was also, like, super nerdy and knew, like, yeah. like Star Trek stuff, but you would know Star Wars stuff. Like, I, when I thought of it, that's who I pictured of you. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to look at that again. I want to try, like, my, what I would want to be as my person of, like, what you want to play would be a schizophrenic. Yeah, when you said that, I was like, oh, my God, a schizo. I could never do that. I would but love yeah, you to could. play a schizo. But what I think I could actually play is probably, like, the best friend. Like, the, the pretty girl's, like, quirky best friend. Oh, my God. That, yeah. Like, that would be me. I would be the one that's, like, the wing girl, like, the wingman of the female Mm -hmm. group or like the girl that's just like one of the guys yep like that would be my regular but i also want to be like the obnoxious i want to be like the obnoxious friend too i want to be the obnoxious sarcastic bitchy friend that tells the girl no or the, the one that's so truthful the, the overly honest friend yeah 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 <laughs> that's the one i want to i be. could see that definitely i could definitely see that like you can't wear that yeah where are you going with that ugly lipstick I could, you would be perfect for that. Because that's, but that is me. That's anyway. you in real life, exactly. Yeah. So that's what we would have to go to. Um, do we have any news in current events? Oh well, I have to just. I am addicted to Amazon, and if I see something on Facebook that is trending, and I think I can get it on Amazon, I will buy it. Like the swear word adult coloring book. Now what? I don't know if we have Zoom on this camera or not. Do we have Zoom? We don't have Zoom right now. I don't we, think we have Zoom. To, do you want me to run but up? I can run okay. up. And I could bring this up to the camp. Oh! Uh, and I just lost my mic. But here it is. It says, asshole. <laughs> it's the swear word coloring book. And it is amazing. It has one. Did you color anything in it yet? Um, I don't know if we could say the C word. <laughs> or well, should we? we always end the show with C Yeah, so, Tuesday, okay. So, so um, it would only be appropriate. Here we go. Yes! Yes! Thunder cunt. Oh, my God. It's the word of the day. <laughs> But there, and it's stop. For, this book is for stress relieving. No, I need that. We need to get that Amazon. Amazon, yes. Okay, my birthday's in April. Just remember that. That's okay, fine. so there's things like bitch, bloody bitch, um, bullshit. But my favorite, if I can find it, uh, there's douchebag, <laughs> the c word again, cockwomble, <laughs> which is clearly this is made in in England, bugger. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh. Fucktard, bastard, <laughs> asshole, piss off, pussy. Oh God. Oh my God. I'm going to be very upset. Where are you? Why didn't you color it in? I know. Fuck everything. Yes. <sighs> Wanker. Here it is. It's not colored in, but it is my favorite page in the whole book. Wankstain. 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 Yes. 
I'm going to frame that. That's amazing. Yes, and I'm going to hang it. You should you should color that in really festive and then like put your like a, a picture of somebody that you just don't like or whatever and like send that as like your Christmas card next year for Christmas. Just send out like Wankstein, like multiply it. Maybe I should color it in with somebody's Wankstein and then use it as a color it in. That's an amazing The only way idea. it can light up is with a black light. You could do, totally do that. Or you could find somebody who's got sort of like an infection going on and you could get a greenish color going. <laughs> so, That's gross. I just We're wanted disgusting. to share my asshole adult swear word coloring book with everybody because Excellent. it is amazing. And um, I wore this pretty dress today because we had the SAG Awards over the weekend and also because um, apparently my booty has been hanging out the last two weeks. Yeah, I mean, if you want to hike show. the ratings up along with that skirt. Yeah, like I don't... <laughs> I don't know how high I should <laughs> hike, hike my dress up just a little bit. There it is. What's that, what's that song? Hike your dress up just a little bit more. Just, just a little bit. But. <laughs> there you go. So you want to be on the red carpet. This We know about know, you. I know, yeah. Because so I'm just you, so... You didn't inform me of this stuff. You didn't tell me. I would have. I, I know, but, but this occasion. is what I wanted to bring up. She just wants See, to steal the show, this bitch. She's like, no, you look ugly, so I look good. No, but I did want to tell <laughs> you. It was just the SAG Awards. But for the Oscars, I think we should just be so glamorous and just wear gowns. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm very excited yeah. about this. Yeah. I mean, the Oscars is, I don't know when it is. I think it's in February sometime. We don't have a red carpet. We have a red couch. We have a red couch. And, and I don't know, we can just put on a gown and just be beautiful. I love it. Just well, dollar, dollar ourselves, ourselves up, up and make fun of every, what everybody was wearing and put their pictures on cards and yes. just talk about them and who had a nip slip and who just looked. I'm really into it. But Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, he won his SAG. Oh, he did? Yes, for The Revenant. While he was smoking his vape pen, oh, he didn't thank the bear. This poor bear, not getting any piece of the action. He didn't thank his bear, but if he wins the Oscar and he doesn't thank his bear, they should revoke his Oscar. He really shouldn't be such a wank stain. <laughs> that cockwomble, <laughs> fucked hard, good douchebag. <laughs> now Kate Winslet was at the SAG Awards, and they were both in the same room, kind of like near the same table. And oh, everybody goes crazy because... When those two are together. Yeah, because they were in the Titanic 20 years ago. Right, and they did that other movie where she gave herself like a home abortion, and it was terrible. I'm like, what is that? Do you remember mean, that movie? I don't even know what you're talking about. There was another movie that they were together in, and it was definitely not as good as Titanic. Oh, the one, the reader? Yeah. No. Yes. No, yeah. Yeah. The reader. When they were in the house together, yes. it was like super boring. Yes. I think she was nominated for that movie, actually. Yeah, she was. Yeah. It was very boring. Mm -hmm. And she actually admitted, she's like, you know what, I let Leo drown because he could totally fit on that bed he frame. To you don't understand, it pisses yeah. me off yeah. how much that he could fit on there. He totally could fit on there. There was like, there's a thing on the computer that shows you every single different way that they could position themselves to fit. Yeah. It's like playing cards on right. it. There's plenty of ways that he could have lived. I'll never let you go, Jack. Bye. Bye, Jack. See, See ya. Jack. Fuck off, Jack. See ya. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. That movie, that pisses me. They didn't even try. You didn't even try. No. Listen, you just let him go. They would have lived if they would have just taken all their clothes off. If you would have took all your wet clothes off, and you would have just kept your life preservers on, yep. and you would have just... You guys had sex anyway in the back of the car. What's the difference? Now you're in the middle of the ocean. Try and get it going. Get that body heat going, and you'd be fine. Nope. No. No, now no. Jack's dead. Jack is dead. Had to go and kill off Leo. Really? Really nice. Guy died for you. Couldn't even try. Couldn't even try. <laughs> Couldn't even get him on the back of the bed. Jesus. It gets me so angry. Anyway. Yep. So, uh, so instead of Oscars being so white, SAGs were so black. Were SAGs they? so black. Yeah. It just elbow one. Is this one. a thing? Is this a thing? Oh, it's a thing. Is this a this hashtag? A thing? Yeah, hashtag. SAGs so black. It just elbow one. Uzo Adobu one from Orange is the New Black. Okay. Viola Davis one. How is everyone feeling about this? I think they're feeling good. Straight out of Compton, I don't think one. I was sad about that, but right. this is one of my favorite movies. So what about, so now th that's good. Actually, it just <laughs> Elba won two SAGs that night for Luther, which was a miniseries, a drama miniseries, like a, an event. He went right. for an event. And he won for Beasts of No Nation. All right. So that's, that's huge. To win two SAGs in one night. I think only Helen Mirren did that. I really Somebody don't big know. Somebody big on that. You don't watch these, do you? I really don't. Oh, you're going to watch the Oscars. I'm going to. I'm going to. We should probably have a party. We should. We should have a, we like, should a, we should, together. we should get food. <laughs>
and wear dresses and yes. eat the food in the dresses. <laughs> and tape it. Yes. <laughs> yes. And play it back for yes. everybody. Yes. That's going to happen. And sit, we're going to sit there in our dresses like this. Collaborations are happening right now. <laughs> we're going to be like a dude. We're just going <laughs> to sit there like this. Oh my and we've God. got to wrap it up right now. Yeah, we do. We're <laughs> going to we're, we're wrap it all up in here. So uh, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with uh, Benny Rizzuti and Jack Simmons for Breaking Wind. You're watching The Gagoot Show on MadhouseTV.com. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas, with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this, you'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. This is a good time to tell you. You're doing okay, Mom. I can call you Mom, right? I know we haven't known each other very long, but you seem like a real keeper. You're not perfect. There was that strained carrots incident, but you're trying. You pick up my bottle every time I toss it out of my stroller. That's high comedy to an eight-month-old. You hum the Barber of Seville when you wash my hair. So cool. And your rub downs are out of this world. Anyway, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. You know, right? How much I love you? You're doing okay, Mom. I think this is a good time. Hi, I'm Tom Neely from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. Hello, I'm Benny Rizzuti. And I'm Jack Simmons. And this is Breaking Wind. 
So, Jack, I want to welcome you to uh, Thank you. the show. Thank you. This is a nice little studio setup. A little different than the last time I was here, but I like this. I like this. Because this is where we break wind. Right. In this, on this studio here. And if there was ever and, a better time in American history that we then, needed some wind to be broken. Is this it or not? <laughs> this is it. I mean, yes. we're at the dire end. We're, we're being told every day things are going to, yeah. you know. Yeah, like uh, right now the caucus was a big deal yesterday. Right. And uh, all the different people running, trying to run for, uh, to become president, to get the nomination. Now, I feel that this country is in great peril. I think we are in uh, dire need of something, of a miracle. Of a miracle. We have these politicians that are bickering Ooh, amongst one another. A lot of bickering going on amongst one another. <laughs> and all they're doing is th flinging dirt and mud at each other. Oh, a lot of flinging going on, good Lord Almighty. And we need a miracle. This kind of, We need a miracle. And the only thing I we appreciate... We just don't need a comeback by Tom Arnold. We mean a real miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I don't know what that means either, but I'm going to pretend that it was important. It was pertinent to what we're talking Tom about. Arnold, you know. <laughs> Tom Arnold. So anyway, a lot of people think his career was a miracle. <laughs> and I feel the same way about Hillary Clinton. <laughs> if Hillary, if you want to beat Hillary, just let her keep talking. Boy, her voice hits that shrill, decimal, deaf, leopard concert voice where he's like. Holy God, I understand Bill Clinton's problems now. <laughs> when he's if we just got out there. No, doesn't a voice get on your nerves when she gets way up there and that? How come nobody's really, how come nobody's coached her and said, Hillary, bring it down a little bit? You can't coach her. Wow. You can't coach her. She has bigger testicles than a husband. She's, <laughs> she's, yeah, yeah. And yeah. When, when Bill Clinton said, I did not have sex with that woman, he was Hillary. referring to Hillary. He was Hillary. talking about Hillary. He was talking about <laughs> Hillary, but nobody got that. That's good. I like they that. They didn't get So anyway, back, I was saying, this country is in trouble. <laughs> politicians poking fun at one another. And the only thing, what I enjoy about that, What's that? is that these politicians are so entertaining to me yeah, yeah. that they're helping me forget the fact that the polar ice caps are melting, and humankind will most likely be extinct within the next 30 years. There is a feeling of doomsday among people now that I never had as a kid growing up. And when, like when people call me up now and they'll say, hey, do you want to come over for a barbecue in three weeks? I'll say, yeah, if we're here, you know, if, if we're still around. And hey, you're talking about a barbecue in February. The barbecue in February. <laughs> so what is this, Errol? This is live. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought this was a six-week delay. <laughs> No, but I mean, you could have a barbecue. And I was barbecuing Christmas time. Were I you actually really? smoked a ham out in my backyard Christmas wow, time. Wow, wow. I, uh, I don't do any of that barbecue and stuff. I just go to Long Island to get... Where's a good place to get barbecue, by the way, besides your house? <laughs> Smoking Owls. Great Smoke place, Smoking Owls. Really? Is it yeah. nearby? It's looking... in Massapequa now. Okay. There used to be one in Bayshore. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, yeah, the caucuses. What would you like to talk about? The caucuses? No, I want to talk about something that I think is also a sign of the doomsday apocalypse. And that's the way men are wearing their hair now with a man's bun, it's called. Now, we yeah. talked about this briefly. You weren't too familiar with it. I'm sure a right. lot of our viewers out there, and I mean you, <laughs> have seen this uh, disgusting, creepy kind of thing where guys take their hair, it's very long, and they pull it up and then they twist it into a bun. And um, they twist it into a bun, and then, and then the, it stays up there like that. It's like Wilma, imagine Wilma Flintstone with a penis. And that's the way <laughs> guys look. And it's up like this. And I don't know who, what, I want to take guys to swing them. I want to throw them around like that when I see them. And I have to, though, the, the, fault, not, the fault can't go to the European designers because it started in Europe about five years ago. The fault is going to come to the women today who some woman along the way said, honey, that is so sexy. And then the word got around. <laughs> women, you could stop this bun. Now, I'd love to know if women find this attractive. I think they, did a, they actually did a poll on it and they said, no, nah, we don't like it. We don't like it. I, it's horrible. It's like very feminine. 
Yeah, I'm not men. familiar There's, with it, but then yeah. again, I don't have the well, hair no, to put in a bun. You don't so. have a bun. You have more of a jelly roll there or something. I, like that. I have a landing strip for helicopters. Well, promise me you'll look for it. You'll see I it. I will look for a And a you'll bun. catch it. Yeah. Maybe I'm more sensitive to it. I don't know why, but I, I like, will. I, I will look for men's buns. Is that what you want me to do, Jack? Well, they call it a man's bun when really they're giving you the, the pronoun that man's in front of the, that generic thing, uh, that gender thing, because yeah. oh, it's, it really belongs more on a woman. That's like the man's ear. Yes, the man's ear. Good example. Good the example. Man's ear, yeah, the bro. No. <laughs> but I like to see men and women. I like to see men here and women here. I'm, am I a sexist? Yes. Yes, I am. A yeah, sexist. yeah. I, I am. I mean, if I took a woman out, I would hold open the door for her. I would. Lighter cigarette, if such. Can I still say that? I would pull her chair out for her. I do all those things. Help her with her coat. I think you never, ever, and you never, men, well, men, we never, ever hit a woman. Can we agree yeah. on that? The only time I ever lifted a hand to my ex-wife was to block her punch. That was <laughs> it. Because she had a pretty good right there. But that was it. Yeah, and I agree. <laughs> and women love that. When you, if you actually show some manners and you hold the door open. I think so. You, you know? Yes. You tell them it's cold, uh, you better Who get wouldn't? a coat. Let me wear your coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the truth is we don't do it for the women as much as we do it for ourselves because it, it kind of verifies us as male creatures, male animals, male species. I really mean that. I mean, I, when I do those things, I do them, they make me feel good to be able to do them for a woman, but... If the woman didn't like it, I would still say, this is the way I was taught by my father. This is what I do, and I carried on. Sorry if you don't like it. I do. Well, yeah. Oh, I thought that was... <laughs> that wasn't the button I meant. I meant to hit. I meant... What were you looking for? <laughs> I didn't want that one either. There you go. <laughs> okay. Nice. This has been Breaking Wind with Jack Simmons. We've been breaking wind. Yeah, baby, we've been breaking wind. Breaking wind. Breaking wind. Breaking wind. I can't win. I'm breaking wind. So this has been Jack Simmons. I'm Benny Rizzuti. And I won't be Jack Simmons even after this. You've been great. Stay around. There's a lot more show coming. Uh, Jeannie, Nicole, and I will be interviewing uh, Scott. W what's his name again? <laughs> Scott the Rock. <laughs> the one with the man's bun? Scott the Rock with the man's bun. Ah. <laughs> See ya. Are you interested in you twisted twisted talent. Talent. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. I see you guys see you guys You see what I'm saying? You understand me? And if you can't whip out answers like that, that man is liable to go to commercial break, punch your fucking mouth loose. You understand me? Time is up, sir. You understand me? You're on. You're you're the man. You're the man. Alright, give me your name now. I'm sorry. 
Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family-owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best-in-class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all-day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. With our special guest, the John Holmes of Asian porn, Scott the Rock. It's a pleasure being here. Welcome. Thank you very much. You're the eight-time gold dong award. No, the eight-time winner of the golden dong. Oh, award. the golden, golden dong. dong. It's, uh, it's 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 from the most prestigious porn awards in Macau, which is right off the coast of China. So, I had a very lucrative career for many years, but I've had since I had sixty-eight hernias and. <laughs> 
And unfortunately, my brilliant career came to a, a shocking conclusion. So now I, I got to spin things up. Now I'm in comedy, and I'm trying to make it work. And my back is sore as hell. From winning the Golden Dong Award? No, no, from my many years of, of, of actively being the, the, the largest male in Asian porn. The largest male in Asian porn? Me being six inches. It, it, it made me pr practically the John Holmes of porn. You know, the white Lexington Steel of porn. <laughs> right, so, and the guy who, who I beat out for, for largest cock in China was a guy named uh, Hung Lo. He had the previous <laughs> record of five and a half inches. And so I just basically killed his career, took all of his work, and I heard he's doing uh, gay scat porn in Inner Mongolia. They eat dogs in Inner Mongolia? <laughs> They eat anything in Inner Mongolia. There's an Inner Mongolia? I they thought there was an Outer Mongolia. No, there's an Inner. There's which, an Inner? Which leads to the Outer. Good thing he left, because he would have fed the whole country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm telling you. You know? Man, the first time I did a, a porn movie in China, the girl was saying, I never see one so big before. You're so big. You're so big. And I go... Was he talking about your dick, or...? What was <laughs> she was talking about everything. <laughs> yeah. I can't even walk down the street in Japan because uh, they think I'm the number one sumo wrestler, which I used to do in my sideline. But uh, but porn pretty much paid the bills. So, but it's great being here. I heard the word of the day is thunder pussy. Thunder pussy. Thunder and pussy. And cock womble. I think I used to work with that actress at one time. So she sounds familiar. Was that the, that was the word of the day? Yes. I, I don't know, there's a bunch of words in that book of this, Jay. I guess yeah, that's the one I just picked out as my favorite. That's your favorite right, that's was right. Thunder, what was it, Thunder? Thunder Pussy. Mm, it was different, but it, it, we liked Wankstein. Wankstein? <laughs> Wank, I, I was just, I just like. We liked the whole book the whole in its book. entirety. Of I just liked the way she wrote it. She was just like, bitch, asshole, dick, douchebag, fucktard. <laughs> like, well, bloody she, bitch. Yeah. At least she's well versed in all them, them nice colorful words. So. Yeah, yeah. To match her colorful personality. I guarantee and she's dress. single. With a vocabulary like that. So, Are you? Know. Are you single with a vocabulary like that? Oh, Ooh, no comment. Time to sip this coffee now. <laughs> uh -huh. Thunder. So you are also a, uh, you have a podcast, you do screenwriting. Screenwriting, and uh, I'm, I'm working on a couple of novels simultaneously. Okay. So we're a jack of all trades. We have nothing but time. Are we able to, to talk about some of these uh, screenplays that you're writing? Well, well, the, the one I'm working on now is called Asia's Greatest Living Porn Star. Okay. And I can't go into, grid, into greater depth because uh, it might have the funniest opening scene in the history of cinema. Okay. Uh, but it's under wraps. I can't talk about it. I really right. like Asia. It, it, it's, it's, it's about my life. You know, in so Asia? I'm just yeah, I'm just writing the truth. So the truth is very hard to get wrong. You know, so, you <laughs> Not know, if you're uh, a politician. Well, I also did some CIA work. You know, because they used me as a genetic time bomb. All right, because uh, Asia's starting to take over the world. So what I did is I made so many babies that within 15, 20 years, that their math scores should drop females. dramatically. I was just gonna say. Their math score should drop dramatically. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> and their and their their, their, motiv their motivation should drastically decrease. All right, and I say that we're going to take over the world again within 25 years, thanks to mine and uh, some of my colleagues. So, way to go, CIA! I'm here for you guys. Wow, thanks for ejaculating in all those Asian. <laughs> it was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. You know, uh, just doing my part for my country. Excellent. So, trying to make America great again, like the great Donald Trump. So, Bravo. vote yeah. Trump. Trump He's is going to win it all. We have Common Core. That's right. Is he's, he? Yeah. Well, 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 see, Donald Dumbing Trump is down. winning. Thank God Dumbing he's running because he's going to make America great again. Because America hasn't been great for a very long time. So we need, what we need is a businessman with, with basically no people skills whatsoever. All right, so he's going to get it done. So what Donald did we Trump. kill Donald Trump with last night in Times Square? A dildo, didn't we? A dildo. Really? Yeah, we, 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 we were in an improv class, and you have to guess. We had to play charades, basically, and Donald Trump was one of the people that had to die. Yeah, and yeah, I had to come up with an idea, so I my idea was to kill Donald Trump Yeah, yeah, but dildo. the problem is he probably would have liked that, though. It was with a dildo. He so. might have. He might have liked it. Hey, did you guys see that uh, somebody actually drew a swastika on his, uh, his star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Yeah, and, and, and they weren't sure and whether there was it was a tweet whether he, he whether liked it. Whether it was a supporter, it, yeah, or, 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 or against uh, him. Yeah, uh, so you gotta love it, you know. Irony. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know so. So where do you get your inspiration from, other than just the truth of? Well, just well, just from endless hours of thinking of nothing but uh, great things, you know, because I can't move around too much because I have various harnesses and trusses on. Right. Sixty-eight hernias. You know, I'm still recovering. It's a lot. You know. It's a lot of hernias. I'm telling you, you know, but it was a lot of work. 
Right. You know, so. I would imagine so. I'm telling you. Did you save at least some of the money that you made? I, I blew it as fast as I made it. I mean, with 60 you know, it, was, it was more of a lifestyle than, than really a job. So it was, it was difficult. But we're here to live and tell the tale. So I'm writing it all down. And it's all the truth. What's your okay. podcast about? Oh, it's about uh, uh, life. I interviewed a faux Jesse Ventura, who you were kindly enough to, 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 to say, oh my God, I thought, I didn't know that was the real Jesse Ventura, because you didn't say, but I thought it was obvious, because it was such a bad Jesse Ventura impression. I thought that, of course you'd know it wasn't the actual Jesse Ventura. But, I'm but, very gullible to it. <laughs> well, well, you have great taste, you know, and, and that's something you can't learn. Either you're born with it or you're not born with it. And that's something... You gullible? You know, I am. <laughs> great taste, all right, is, is not acquired. You're going to do acrobatics on the, right, the landscape. You, you, were blowing, you, were, you, were blowing, you were blowing me up so far before the show saying how great I was and how much you loved the podcast. <laughs> you know, that it was just, uh, man, I was so full of energy to come out here because, man, I'm so confident now. So thank you very much. You're, You're very welcome. Body. You know that? You You're know very welcome. Right. See, I wouldn't be afraid at all to drop my pants in front no, of you. No, no. I know you would just build me up and make Don't me feel so now. secure. Don't do it now. I would, right? I'd mm. totally make you feel so good. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is one Asian that doesn't want to see you drop your pants. This is what I said my coffee now. Oh, you're Asian? Is that your coffee cup? Did you bring your own coffee cup here? Yeah. You're, you're, you're Asian? Because it says yes, crazy cat lady, Ooh. so... <laughs> We're all Asian, or you got to have some... You look like you're half half Asian, half white. You mm -hmm. that combo. Yep. So half what? Irish. Ooh, half Asian and half... Uh, what, Chinese or Korean? Filipino. Ooh, Filipino. Half Filipino, half you Irish. You ever have That's a nice. Filipino woman before? That's nice, but, uh, but speaking of, of half Irish and half Filipino, man, I'm surprisingly half hard right now. So thank you <laughs> well, very much. Well, that's an Asian half. What? <laughs> Only three quarters. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you're like a time traveler, and you were you went back in time, and maybe that's how. Maybe maybe Jeannie's your daughter. <laughs> Would that be funny? That'd be so crazy. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be said I had Down syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I didn't know you. I, I didn't know you were Asian. Her math skills. I was like, wow, you're are, beautiful. Are you, are you got good math skills? Yes. Oh damn it. <laughs> all right, you're hitting all, hitting all the stereotypes. You know, so China is taking over the world. So give it 15, 20 years. Is that eight minutes? That's China. That's China bombing the show. I don't know the whatsoever. That's the gong. That's China bombing his house. Yeah. You know, or or slipping me some of that plutonium that they gave that Russian spy. You know. What's that? That's that's exactly my motion. Agent Orange. Yeah, that thing. It's Agent. Knuckles out. Agent Orange. Agent, like secret agent. Yeah, it's Agent Orange. Agent Orange. I thought you said Asian Orange, right? History wasn't my thing, okay? I don't know. You know, most women's vaginas are pink, but in Asia there are. Oh dear. Asian Orange. Although black women. He's like maybe he's got no, not mine. Purple. I, 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 so I'm not, getting, I'm, not, I'm not getting any confirmation, so obviously you've never been to a black woman, yes? Sometimes what? it's purple, Benny. The Some vagina? The vagina, yeah. Purple. It, it, goes, it goes black, and to the lips it goes purple, and then it goes pink, and pink is the color of love. Do you understand? Purple rain, purple rain. <laughs> purple fountains. Um... Well, we're going to go to a quick commercial. Thank gonna, fucking gonna God. Let's go to a commercial. We're going to go to a commercial. Please. And then we'll be back with all of us on And that. then the fun, then the real fun's going to yeah, happen. soon. Then the craziness happens. We'll be right and back. Stay anyway, tuned. Peace. Stay black. You're watching the Gagoot Show on Madhouse. Stay purple. Stay whatever color you want.
What are you looking for? You don't even know that. You don't even know. Are you on the board? Yeah. So you can't even answer. I'm asking you about it. You gotta be, you gotta be highly skilled. You gotta be highly skilled. You understand that? Are you, 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 you well versed there? Are you very smart man? Hit me with some funny shit. My shit is twisted. Tell me something. Tell me something. What do you have right there? That's awesome. Well, that's a big. That's nice. You know damn well. You know damn well. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sir. Hey, are you interested in you twisted or not? Twisted. I'm sure. I'm sure. I see you guys. I see you guys. That's twisted. That's twisted. You see what I'm saying? You understand me? And if you can't whip out answers like that, that man is liable to go to commercial break, punch your fucking mouth loose. You understand me? Time is up, sir. You understand me? You're on. You're you're the man. All right. Give me your name now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My name is Willie. Willie, where you working at? We are twisted. We are awesome. We are awesome. We are awesome. We are awesome. Can you repeat that question again? Yeah. Question again. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best in class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. And we're back with the Gagood Show with Jack Simmons and Scott the Rock, Jeannie and Nicole. And Patty Rizzuti. Yay, thank you guys so much for coming on. And Did I hear correctly he was Asians? Asians. Asians. Greatest living porn star. Are you also big in Japan? What's up? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm as equally huge in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> now, how is your name known in America? I don't think I've Look, come across you. It, it's more like Scott the Small in America. <laughs> I'm ignored here for some reason. I couldn't, get my, I couldn't get my career happening here for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, six inches just ain't enough. And, Let's have to cut the mustard. You know, as much as I can talk, as much as we can, we can dance around the issues. But there's some, there's some freaks here. So age is more of my market. <laughs> but you know, that's funny about porn's really come mainstream. Mm. It, it wasn't like that 20 years ago, and now there was certain like Ron Jeremy was a guy you would see at Catch a Rising Star all the time. Very handsome guy. Awful looking guy. Oh, God. oh he's greasy. He's horrible looking. Ah, well, I'm, 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 saying, I'm saying compared to me. So I'm just oh, in that case, he's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's a very handsome guy. He's a little Brad Pitt. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, no. He's but Leo DiCaprio, yeah. I think he has a fake penis, though. That's, that penis can't the possibly be real. The bear is better. It just can't be real. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, now, now they, they just, I, I think the whole quality of porn has gone down quite a bit. If that can say such a thing, yeah, it yeah, because the production value has been taken out of it. Yes, it so has. See, see, back in the day, we used to be able to spend stories and yeah, we used like to be able to spend five, six thousand dollars to make a porn. Nowadays, I, they expect you to do it for like seven hundred dollars, which we can't do. We can't live on that. I always, I always felt like, yeah, yeah. I always felt like they, just, they, when they have the X, X is like triple X on the box. Mm -hmm. I'm just it curious. should be like, can, careful warning contains you acting. You could be cast. All right, you could work. I probably contains could. what? All right, acting. I very well could. Oh, you you can make seven hundred dollars a day and play your cards right. I want to plot. You let me know when we get out of here. I want to plot. Where the big money is seventy five dollars. I can man. make some phone calls for you. Thank you. Right. I really appreciate Plus that. Plus free airfare to Asia. This guy's a real gem, you know. But it's the Thailand. <laughs> yeah. you, have to, you have to work your way up. First, you start in Thailand. Well, then, so of course you got to work your way up. Then you move to mainland China. You know how you get free airfare? Human trafficking. Ooh, human trafficking. Wait, can we just bring this back to the 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 production of? Now we're talking. Yeah, I know okay. people. See, she's Filipino. She knows about this stuff. Right. Just saying. Trafficking. I don't. I, I don't. I don't like to call Listen, it human trafficking. By yeah, the way, yeah, I, it's called. It, it's called kidnapping. It's called yeah. intercountry commerce. 
All right. Okay. It's called reverse immigration. It's called roofing. Reverse illegal immigration. <laughs> <laughs> reverse immigration. I'm just saying, I'm the only one that's, I think, single on the mm -hmm. show. Um, so, I'm not, I'm not bashful. I watch a lot of pornography. Mm. Okay? I'm just curious. Have you seen my work? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? I've never seen a porn I in can, my life. I can, I can, I can. Never. I can, never. Ever, I can, I can, ever. I can drop some DVDs off. Uh, can, can we watch one here? I got one in my bag. No, that's all right. <laughs> no, no, really. I can. It's a, like a running right joke. Now. It's a running joke. Yeah, yeah. I've never right. played Monopoly and I've never seen a porn, so all my friends make fun of me. Don't worry. It's very, Once you it's start very, taking very, it out of the house, then it is a problem. And it's very quick. All right. So, so Nicole. So it's very quick. <laughs> all right, so. I just am curious, though. All right. When you watch the porn, mm. do you. Do you not get bored? I get very bored sometimes. I, I Sometimes there's. There's moments where you, it's, it's like, yeah. you suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. The, 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 the performers? Yeah. Well, you got you got to mix up the movements, my dear. You got to. No, go. there is some. It's, it's, it's just it's so. Step. No, like I want the. I want. You want realness. a mixtape? You want like want greatest hits? Mixtape. You want the greatest hits? Mm. You no, want she wants like, No, she wants she where wants it's actually like, right. believable people, that they're passionate. Nah, uh, yeah, they don't. They, it's just like. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I'm like. No, they used like, to be like stories. Like each other a little bit. Like maybe yeah. like like each other. A little. Yeah. No, like a little. But that speaks more to the people who are uh, looking at it. See, okay. see, see, see. This is this is a well known trick in the in the, in the porn trade. Is when we're doing that and we're just pounding. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make man butter, which we can sell afterwards. Okay. Because uh, it's 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 Ayurvedic medicine. If you ever go to India, like duck butter. It's sort of, <laughs> yeah, 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 but it's yeah, yeah. man butter. Like duck butter. butter. That's right. Yeah, like yeah. duck butter. And and you use the woman as 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 the pestle, and us as the man. We we act as the mortar. And we just pound so quick that we make a butter out of it. <laughs> and then, see, at least you're laughing. But you're uh, a little too versed on this subject, to be honest. Well, we, yeah, we, 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 we've, we've done many years of research, sir. We're if you thought he was faking, no, he's for real. I didn't think this. My question was going to open up five minutes of. Uh, oh, well, you're just you're just very okay. interesting dialogue. You're, you're, you're a very good question beggar. But, okay. Uh, Thank but, you. Uh, and you play a mean ass heart, man. We got a jam, bro. Yeah, I just have to say, oh, um, Jack, he wrote our song really for the opening segment, which is awesome. Yeah, sense. which I just absolutely love. Thank you. Be on the lookout great. for it. Yeah, the song is it's living on the, the island. Opening, living, living on the island. island. Living on the island. Living and on the island. It's got such a great beat. It, really Thank it you. makes you want to move. Yeah, you just want to like yeah. be it's happy. Great. It makes you want to make man butter. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> not that. No, no, it doesn't make you, you want to make man butter. That's want... Ayurvedic medicine. I'm not making this up. You can you can okay. go to India right now. If you want to eat your man butter, you eat your man butter. No, no, no. You don't eat it. What you do is you apply it. It cures AIDS. Uh, it treats syphilis. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Okay. And, and it, it makes an awesome hand. It lotion. cures AIDS, but you get AIDS in the process <laughs> yeah. of trying to make it. Yeah. Well, so it's kind of a reverse it, it, thing. It's, well, it's sort of like exactly. a vaccine. You got to have a little bit of it in order to cure it. It's like those right. uh, so commercials where uh, it'll is, cure cancer, but it'll uh, you give you a suicidal, little bit of the disease suicidal tendencies. Right, and but it may cause sneezing, <laughs> sleezing, these sleeping, guys aren't sleepiness, well in Ayurvedic medicine. But I can assure you that I've been there, I've done the research. And a uh, matter of fact, I'm thinking about starting my own website to start selling man butter. So you've heard it here first. First for the Gugut Show. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> Maybe you can become one. Of, we've been looking for sponsors. Maybe you want to advertise. I got to get some more business first. So it's, it's right. still in the development stage. Well, hey, you'll certainly pick up some customers answer something. from this Hopefully. avatar. Nicole, this, is pra this is practically a. Uh, That's right. At what least fifteen. At least well, fifteen people longer. watched us. Okay. All right. So every message, every person something. counts. Uh, oh, infomercial. <laughs> yeah. It's practically an infomercial that you This is an infomercial you're doing here. What's that? Right, so you were talking about <laughs> porn and how it's not realistic, how right, they're not right. passionate. This is no lie. I saw a porn on uh, you, you porn where they were doing it doggy style. Right. And the girl actually gets Wolf? a bottle of water Wolf. and opens it up and is drinking the water. <laughs> well, she's, yeah, a, sure. oh, she's a yeah. professional. There's nothing wrong with that. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but you get thirsty. You get thirsty. You got to get something. So you, look. Oh, so that re It's that when really she ordered a pizza. That's when that got <laughs> Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I've done that. <laughs> and, and it's, you what? <laughs> and it's Domino's. Chinese food? No. You know I, I, I am the Chinese food. Working that day? What the fuck? <laughs> She's a little tight head. I'm Filipino and Chinese. Is the game on? Yeah. It's like, if I'm going to watch a porn, it's either got to be... Like, if I'm getting bored, what's on TV? It's like <laughs> absurd and absolutely ridiculous. Like midgets? You mean where they actually like talk? Midgets? No, it's oh. like, like I, I watch these two midgets, like, <laughs> rob this, uh, they rob this woman's house, they banged her out, and they stole all her lettuce. She has, like, uh, thousands and thousands of things of lettuce in her house. I'm like, this is interesting. I'm enjoying this. I didn't watch it to, like, Vegan you know, porn. 
Yeah, yeah vegan porn. There yeah. you go. <laughs> and they're popular. Your enough. asshole is a salad bowl. That's right. Oh, and right? It was, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta Foster salad. salad. It was very it's interesting. I didn't watch it's it to get, porn. get off I, by I it. I just find it was interesting. That. Specialty. All I'm saying is. Sometimes you want to see two people that actually like each other. They actually do have women porn, seriously, made by women directors to be a little more gentle and soft. And it's yeah. totally inaccurate. And guys are, but, bang, 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 bang. but they do have the women porn, which leads up Is it up like to, soap opera porn? Is that I like the story well, so, But it's a lot it. of it is based on, on them talking and foreplay and everything like that. They actually and want talking, to date and talking and stuff. Some more and, there's there's and there's a there's huge there's market for that because women don't want the very violent, quick bang, bang, bang. I should get mostly. into directing porn. <laughs> yes. In the 70s and 80s. Let's that. start our own company. We really should. Like, I think I'd be really good at that. <laughs> like, I really think I would be. Like, I'm, I'm I'd not only charge you guys half price. So we should, let's talk, ladies. We should write. Right, Manny? Let's start You're going to write a porn? I'm going to write yeah. a porn. <laughs> While we're watching the Oscars. You know, it's like my friends yeah. they ask me, that, I, like, I've been single, I've been dating, I do my thing, and they're all asking, like, oh, you know, like, well, you, you said he was good, and he was good, and he was good, and I'm like, you know what, maybe they weren't good, it's just me, I was good. Absolutely. That's you know? usually what it is. So, I, I, I we're know. the ones that are good. Yeah. They're make the ones Jewish that need to learn. Where, make a well, Jewish porn where, uh, Screw it. We write our own porn. I'm going to... I'll agree that most thing. men, most men are just, they're thinking in one area. Yeah. And they're, they're whole... Selfish. Uh, That's what you are. Uh, no. You're they're selfish. Whole, what? Not, a lot of men well, are. some men are. A lot of men are. I've heard. Not all, but yeah, I've heard of, uh, of that. I don't know. But, uh, I've had. Because the whole thing <laughs> in, with, with, uh, with passion, if you are concerned in, in your partner and having your partner uh, aroused... Satisfied. And satisfied, then it will work for you as well. Right, that is true. But a lot of men do seem that they're only thinking in one area. They don't understand. No. Women, your whole body is your erogenous Right, yourself. but not for nothing. A lot of women don't know what the hell they're doing either. They're like, I want the man to come and just ravish me. I want them to come <laughs> and do this for me. That's true. Yeah. And they're like, hey, That's true. do you even know how to go home and get yourself off? Because if you no, know how to do they that, don't. you don't. They you don't. don't. They you don't. don't go home. And you don't know what you're doing back there. If you knew what you were doing, then you'd know how to get it going right. over there. And you, you need to know your own body. You tell the guy what you that's want, right. what you, how you like it, and that's that. I'm sorry. They have, Jewish, they have Jewish porn where they go out to dinner and she comes home and then she has a headache and nothing happens. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's considered very realistic in the that, porn that's, industry. That's, 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 that's marriage. That's, <laughs> that's very realistic. That is extremely realistic. What, what that's realistic. Realistic. That's that's realistic. realistic. That's almost like, yeah, that's almost like reality porn. Our what? man has to keep an erection. <laughs> Sorry if we don't suck your fucking yeah. toes for 10, 15 minutes. We got a rock hard cock and it's got to go somewhere. Whoa, whoa, right? whoa. Well, that's, what, that's the, are the we truth. banned? We, it, I'm no, sorry, I, I, we're going to be I, banned I, I, I now, bro. Business. When we were, You're right, this is your business minutes. lingo. What's but, the difference right. between a Jewish American princess and a bowl of linguine? Linguine moves when you eat it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at Chidi's face right now. She's, just, she's having a ball. So what were you going to talk about when I came on? <laughs> we weren't going to talk about this. <laughs> okay. This was like the, the second choice then. <laughs> we wanted to talk about your song. This is a oh, hijacking. No, Nobody move. <laughs> I have a bomb. Nobody fucking move. Okay, I don't really have a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope not. I'm like, nothing. Hey. This is a fucking hijacking. No. Sorry. God, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I was thinking the same thing. Thank God you, you, you voiced it for me. Your voice is so much more you know, pleasant. You know, we'd like to book you again in the winter. Fuck, I wanted to take you that five times. Yeah, I know what I told you. Back still talking. Show. See what a gentleman I am? Uh, well. All right, anyway, we have to wrap it up. Sorry, I'm making comedy gold. Forgive me. All right, you talk more. I just she, she's got something to say. Wanna say. Shut the fuck up. Okay? I have so many more important things to say. Like, I'm half Filipino and half Irish. For those of you thinking right now, how do I get off this island? Let me tell you. <laughs> right. It's going to go off myself. Anyway. Within four minutes. <laughs> any, anyone have anything they want us, any parting notes? <laughs> no? Got any more songs coming out? Uh, yes, find, I do. Where can we find your song? Yes, I do. I tell you what, I will keep in touch with Gagoots, and when I have it, Gagoots. I have to. I have to do a video and put it on YouTube. Seriously, <laughs> that's what I have to do. And otherwise, getting it played, going through the regular record industry anymore is impossible. And so you everything's have to, on social. It has to be grassroots, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to be grassroots. Yeah, it's a great song. It's great. Great. Thank great you. Companies. Do you have other songs? As yes. Jenny, yes. Do you have other? Yes, I have a song called "I'm Offended." <laughs> Very funny. I wrote it, I swear to God, I wrote it eight years ago uh, before Obama was in office. And um, I have another song called I Ain't Green, I'm Just Broke. 
And it's about a guy who everybody thinks he's green. He's not green. He's broke. He has to do. He has to use paper cups over and over again. He has to do all this stuff. So I like cultural stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Very good. good. Very good. Well, Did come? I'm done. You're done. You got anything Everyone's coming up? You got anything coming up? Uh, what is today? Uh, the standing room on the 11th. But I'll see you before then um, with uh, our guest that we had on a couple weeks ago, Sandy. Chan Simone Ooh, and yes. Love her. Luis Leon. I got their names right, damn it. <laughs> and um, we're going to be doing a show together. Um, here's the thing at the standing room at 9 30 on the 11th. I don't know. I'm going to find out. I'm going. <laughs> is that in Long Island or is that in it's Manhattan? It's in um, Long Island City. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So I'm looking forward to and, that. And I'll, I'll be uh, shutting the fuck up since. Uh, you know, that's 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 what comedy is all about. That's all Jack, for two shows. I'll be at uh, Carmine's next week in uh, Poughkeepsie. And oh, I'm, great. And I'm awesome. opening for him. <laughs> yes, okay. And tomorrow night, <laughs> I will be on this very network tomorrow right. from 7 to 8 on Jerry Parisi's Filmmaker Show. Oh, oh nice. nice. Okay, okay, you? Gonna, so you can catch me tomorrow, and uh, I'll be doing to Jerry Parisi what Scott the Rock did to us. <laughs> Which is a hijacking. <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> you photobombed the... <laughs> the show. Ha have a great week, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Thank you. See this is all comedy. See you next love Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Showbiz. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Some people live in the city. Some people live in the country. Others live in the mountains. Me? I live on an island. Long Island. Long Island.